in the morning is back. Well, welcome back. Imagine you're at home, the phone rings, and it's the President of the United States of America. It's hard to even imagine what that would be like, mm -hmm. at least for me it is. Uh, that's exactly, though, what happened to a Mesa woman. She got the call uh, from the White House to tell her uh, that her husband was going to receive the nation's highest honor, the Congressional Medal of Honor. So Ron is here now with this story. Ron? Yeah, I'm, we just love being able to share this story with everybody, you guys. His name is Manuel Mendoza. He lived in Mesa until he passed away several years ago. Well, his wife, Alice, and kids all still living mostly in the Mesa Gilbert area. Well, today, such an honor for this family as uh, he will now be awarded the Medal of Honor, the highest award this country hands out. So let me show you exactly what was going on. It was October 4th of 1944. The Americans had landed in Italy and begun to push north. Now here's what's going on. Remember, it's October of 1944. We're just months four away. months away, you guys, from D-Day. So the Americans had landed here on the coast of France. The Russians, we know, were pushing in toward Germany as well, having come across kind of through the Belarus, Ukraine, Poland area. And of course, they were all headed for Berlin. And as they were closing in, the idea was, let's land the American forces all the mm -hmm. way down here on the Italian coastline and start to work our way up thus forcing Germany to deploy some of their troops this way so that the collapse onto Berlin could happen so by opening up this front. So now what I want to do is take you a little closer into Italy itself. So this is where a lot of the fighting was going on. If you drew a line basically from Florence right through here to Venice, up into these mountains right along here, you had the Germans, on this side. You had the Americans down here continuing to push north. And the Americans had taken, with some of the most intense fighting, one key ridge, but the Germans had tried to retake it. That was not going to happen because of the bravery of this man, Master Sergeant Mendoza. Now, the Germans were advancing up the hill. The Americans had already taken. Mendoza was shot twice, but he grabbed a submachine gun and ran to the top of the hill where he saw hundreds of enemy troops converging, coming up the slope. They were armed with guns, grenades. Some of them even had flamethrowers. He alone fought them off in a fierce firefight, hitting 10 German soldiers. One on the German force had almost reached the crest of the hill with his flamethrower when Mendoza took him down too. Eventually his machine gun jammed so he took out grenades, aiming them at the German troops and with that they finally scattered. Not only that, he then ran down the hill, gathered up their guns they had left behind and captured one of the wounded enemy soldiers to boot. Well, his daughter Sylvia is so proud that her father is finally receiving this honor. She says he really rarely ever talked of that heroic day. Because he did not share much information, I did have to do a lot of research. In fact, the first time I heard about his exploits when he uh, was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross, I was about 12 years old, uh, and a, one of my cousins, my first cousins, had come back from a trip to California, and he had a, a book called Among the Valiant, which is a chronicle, a chronicle of many Hispanic Americans who contributed to the war efforts during World War II and Korean War. And my father was listed in that book, and along with a description of uh, his feat of valor for which he received the Distinguished Service Cross. And that Distinguished Service Cross is going to be upgraded to the Medal of Honor today. He was also awarded a Bronze Star, a Purple Heart, and many others. And he didn't stop serving his country, you guys, at the end of World War II. He also served in the Korean War. You know what they called him in the military? Mm -hmm. The Arizona Kid. Oh, <laughs> he I represented our entire state. And we're proud of him in Mesa, obviously. But there's also some real pride this morning in Miami, Arizona. Mm -hmm. He was raised in that town east of the valley. What and a story, so Ron. You know, they wow. love it as well. Fantastic story. And you wonder it's why incredible. he wasn't awarded uh, the Medal of Honor back then. Mm -hmm. What was the delay? Well, I mean, if he had all those other uh, medals, the Bronze Star, correct. Purple Heart, uh, yes. Valor, and all that. And Why did it take what so was, long? Apparently, they've gone back and looked, you guys, and there were 24 <coughs> different cases mm -hmm. that they felt were that sh where these uh, honors should have been bestowed mm -hmm. upon uh, upon our service members, 
that now finally those are going to happen. Oh. Okay. And this is one of those great stories. Okay. Ron, thank you. Great story. Mm -hmm.